All right, so before we go ahead and uh, learn how to crop this image here, uh, there are a few instances that might give you some errors. So let's uh, take a look at that. So for example here, a user might decide to browse and select a text file instead of an image. So if I hit change here, it's going to work just fine. But you see that now we get an empty um, an empty thing here. So this is not good because people could easily upload viruses to your computer. So what we need to do is to make sure that what they're uploading is what we want. So now uh, let me show you how to actually do that. So if we go back to our text editor up here, where we are uploading the file. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just say uh, die. I'm going to put die here so that we, we check out what is contained in files. So since this is a, an array, I'm going to say print r files. And then of course, I'm going to add some pre tags so that we uh, everything looks nice and neat when we are viewing an array like that. Okay. So here it's going to end the script. So we just see this part. So if I come back to here and upload the text file and click change, of course, we are going to get what we had gotten in the first place. Now, if you look carefully here, we're not even doing any error checking. So you can use this one, uh, the error. The error is supposed to be zero. It means everything went well. But if it's one, two, up to four, you can Google that on the internet to find out what these upload errors mean. Then you can check to see if the number is one, two, three, or four, then you can give the user the appropriate uh, response. And then also you can use this size number here to limit because you might want users to upload, let's say one megabyte is your maximum upload size. So you can use this to check that. Now, keep in mind that this file size is in bytes. Is it in kilobytes? I think it's in bytes or something, but we'll, we'll verify that. So you have to divide it by 1024 to get a megabyte, uh, a kilobyte, and then another thousand by 24 to get a megabyte. So I'll show you how to do that. But what I want you to check now is the type right here. So you see it's telling me that this file is a text, plain text. Okay, text slash plain. So this is not what I'm looking for. What I want is a JPEG. So if I go back this way and browse for an actual JPEG this time and hit change, you're going to see that now I have image slash JPEG. So this is the type of file I should be looking for. So you might want to allow users to upload PNG or JPEG or whatever it is, but this is how you check using the type. So let's go back to our code here and add that in. So we're going to say right here, we're going to say if, uh, so it's image JPEG that we are looking for. Let me just, uh, so the location is here. So we'll copy this and say if file, now we are not looking for the temp name, we are looking for the type because that's what we have here. So if the type is equal to this, then we are good. Like that. Okay. So let's add an else statement here. We can add an else just like we did here. Now, since we, uh, let me see here. Yeah, I think to make, to keep things simple, we're just going to add an else here and paste there. Like this. So we're going to say instead of please add a valid image, uh, which is the same thing. Or you can say uh, only images of JPEG type are allowed, something like that, okay? So if the type is equal to JPEG, do this or else sound the alarm. All right, so now that we've seen that, that's fine. Now let's do, let's do the size thing as well. 
So we might we have to check that if this is true, we do that or else we go here. We might as well add another check inside the if statement and say if. So let's do this as well. And then add another else statement here. Let me move this inside like so. And then here we are going to say only images of size, let's say, uh, we can put it at 3 MB or lower are allowed. Something like that. Now, how do we check for size? We can go again right here. Let me just copy the whole thing, put it here. And then we are going to say size. I think that's what it is. It's actually size, yes. So you see, that's the size right there. Now, this one is 73 kilobytes, 73,000 bytes. So let me go back here and say uh, size. Now, let me put a variable here, size. I'm going to say if this is less than so if the size of the file is less than the allowed size so you can just say allowed size here underscore size like that so it makes a bit of sense so let's try and see what the allowed size is so allowed size is going to be equal to now the bytes are usually in 1024 increments like that so if we say 1024 by uh, uh, 1024 3 megabytes might be something like uh, instead of multiplying it okay let's do this uh, 1024 by 1024 this should be a megabyte right here So let me do the calculations. Let me use my calculator. Let's bring the calculator here. 1024 by 1024. Okay, so that's a megabyte right there. So that's one megabyte here, okay? So now that we have this, we can simply multiply it by the number of megabytes that we want. So say allowed size, let's multiply that by three. So that's going to give us three megabytes right here, okay? So if you want to test it, you can put a smaller number and put a kilobyte or something, and then it's going to tell you it's not allowed. So allowed size is that. So this has to be less than this. So in our case, it is. And then we continue. We say everything is fine. And then let's add our code inside that section. So all this move upload file down here should be added right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. So let me tab that into its location, like so, and we are good to go. So let's test this and see if we get uh, good errors. So let me go back here, and at the top here, let's delete this part that is stopping us from proceeding. And then uh, let me reset that, browse. So let's browse something that's not an image, for example, and hit change, and they say only images of JPEG type allowed. Good. And then let's try an image that's quite big. I'm going to try one that's six megabytes, and I'm going to hit change. So it's going to say only images of size 3 MB or lower are allowed. So this is working just fine. So instead, let me change this to seven megabytes because there's a point I want to make with that other image, an error that might come in. So let me open it and hit change. And there we go. So as you can see, this image was straight when we were changing it, but it has arrived in a rotated format. So, and on top of that, it's six megabytes size. So of course we're going to need 
to reduce the size of that image. So let me try another image here. Okay, so, so far so good. Now, when we come back, uh, we're going to actually create the class that allows us to uh, reduce the size of our images so that our, uh, our function or our website, sorry, can be fast enough. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.